Hello YouTube, this is a coffee review of Caribou Coffee Pumpkin Love. Here we are, and taping of this video is done in early fall, so I figure this is quite fitting for the season. Even though it's still hot as can be, and flies and whatnot are still buzzing around. It says here, uh, let's do this. There are two types of people. Those who love pumpkin and those who don't yet know they love pumpkin. Hopefully, like us, you fall into the pumpkin love category. If anything, our pumpkin-inspired coffee should provide just gentle enough push into the unknown. And when it comes down to it, that's kind of what life is all about. Life is short. Stay awake. Uh, cute. I like the fact we got the squirrel on there. Always a squirrel fan. So we have here French press. It's been sitting for the customary five or seven minutes. Give it a plunge. And we'll give it a look see. Now I've been having this throughout the week with my favorite additive, hot cocoa, and I found that it tastes pretty good. That or I just like the hot cocoa. Hard to tell. So, straight up, nothing added to it. We have here a mm, lighter chocolate brown. I'm not sure how it is on your side. It's hard to see the screen. And that's about all I can say for it. You get coffee, light coffee, light earth notes. With something else in it. It's not sweet, but it's sweeter. It's just hard to put your finger on it. Now I'm curious. If that's what we're getting out of the mug note, what is the bag note like? So we're giving a little bit of a puff here fight that. A lot of earth notes, a lot of ground coffee bean notes. And there is a, a squash-like hint in there. It's a, a, a sweetness that kind of comes up. A sweet vegetable note that because of the bag saying pumpkin, sides me to say, oh yeah, it's got pumpkin in it, when really, to be quite honest, there's a sweeter factor with a bit of a squash-ish like tone to it that's hiding underneath this light, kind of like a light roast coffee. There is earth notes to it. There is a brightness to it that's not overly dominating. It's got a long hang time. It must be a light roast because there's not a whole lot of coffee to it. As for the pumpkin, I'm not getting much pumpkin, but I am getting a hint of squash in there. And, and I don't mind squash. I prefer it roasted. But uh, you're definitely not going to get a roast squash out of this. It's like a raw squash. Uh, blend it, fridge it, enjoy it, blah, blah, blah. It says here, ground coffee, natural and artificial flavors. Pumpkin perfected. Unleash the pumpkin. Uh, organic certified. Handcrafted. 100% Arabica. Or Arabic, whichever you want to call it. Does not say if it is a dark roast, medium roast, or light roast. But I would have to give it a ingredients. Coffee, natural, artificial flavors. I'd have to give it a light roast 
uh, flavoring to it, which would explain why it is on the lighter side of well, coffees I've had in the past. And a little on the watery side. I wouldn't say disappointing because when I take this with a hot cocoa, it is quite tasty. So maybe that's what it is. You have to sugar it up, cream it up, uh, cocoa it up, and that will give you what it takes to make it a very nice cup of coffee. But on its own, straight up black, well, I've had other caribou products that are much better than this. I've had it much worse, but I've had much better. Give it a try. See what you guys think. Like I said, it's much better when you add a cream of sugar to it or a bit of you know, chocolate, something else you add to the flavors. Because as it is, it needs that help. But that's my opinion. Try it for yourself. This is Caribou Coffee Pumpkin Love. Any comments about this particular product down below, be warmly accepted, or better yet, go out, buy it, try it yourself, and review it on YouTube so the rest of us can, can, uh, with neighbors, can, uh, see what you think about this particular product. And until next time, keep on drinking.